The South China Sea is a marginal sea that is part of the Pacific Ocean, encompassing an area from the Singapore and Malacca Straits to the Strait of Taiwan of around 3,500,000 square kilometers. The area's importance largely results from one-third of the world's shipping sailing through its waters and that it is believed to hold huge oil and gas reserves beneath its seabed. It is located south of mainland China, including the island of Taiwan, in the east, east of Vietnam and Cambodia, west of the Philippines, east of the Malay Peninsula and Sumatra, up to the Strait of Malacca in the western, north of the Banka Balitung Islands and Borneo. The Minute South China Sea Islands, collectively an archipelago, number in the hundreds. The sea and its mostly uninhabited islands are subject to competing claims of sovereignty by several countries. These claims are also reflected in the variety of names used for the islands and the sea. Names South China Sea is the dominant term used in English for the sea, and the name in most European languages is equivalent, but it is sometimes called by different names in China's neighboring countries, often reflecting historical claims to hegemony over the sea. The English name is a result of early European interest in the sea as a route from Europe and South Asia to the trading opportunities of China. In the 16th century Portuguese sailors called it the China Sea, later needs to differentiate it from nearby bodies of water led to calling it the South China Sea. The International Hydrographic Organization refers to the sea as South China Sea. The Yazushu, which was a chronicle of the Western Zhou Dynasty gives the first Chinese name for the South China Sea as Nanfang Hai, claiming that barbarians from that sea gave tributes of hawks bill sea turtles to the Zhou rulers. The classic of poetry, Zhao Juan, and Guo Yu classics of the spring and autumn period also referred to the sea but by the name Nanhai in reference to the state of Chu's expeditions there. Nanhai, the South Sea, was one of the four seas of Chinese literature. There are three other seas, one for each of the four cardinal directions. During the Eastern Han Dynasty, China's rulers called the Sea Zhanghai. Fei Hai became popular during the Southern and Northern Dynasties period. Usage of the current Chinese name, Nanhai, became gradually widespread during the Qing Dynasty. In Southeast Asia it was once called the Kampa Sea or Sea of Cham, after the maritime kingdom of Kampa that flourished there before the 16th century. The majority of the sea came under Japanese naval control during World War II following the military acquisition of many surrounding Southeast Asian territories in 1941. Japan calls the sea Manami Shina Kai, South China Sea. This was written until 2004, when the Japanese Foreign Ministry and other departments switched the spelling, which has become the standard usage in Japan. In China, it is called the South Sea, Nan Hai, and in Vietnam, the East Sea, by En Thong. In Malaysia, Indonesia and the Philippines, it was long called the South China Sea, with the part within Philippine territorial waters often called the Luzon Sea, Dagat Luzon, by the Philippines. However, following an escalation of the Spratly Islands dispute in 2011, various Philippine government agencies started using the name of West Philippine Sea. A PAGASA spokesperson said that the sea to the east of the Philippines will continue to be called the Philippine Sea. In September 2012, Philippine President Benigno Aquino III signed Administrative Order No. 29, mandating that all government agencies use the name of West Philippine Sea to refer to the parts of the South China Sea within the Philippines exclusive economic zone, and tasked the National Mapping and Resource Information Authority to use the name in official maps. Geography States and territories with borders on the sea include the People's Republic of China, the Republic of China, the Philippines, Malaysia, Brunei, Indonesia, Singapore, and Vietnam. Major rivers that flow into the South China Sea include the Pearl, Min, Geelong, Red, Mekong, Rajang, Pahang, Pampanga, and Pasig rivers. Extent the International Hydrographic Organization defines the limits of the South China Sea as follows. 
On the south, the eastern and southern limits of Singapore and Malacca Straits are line joining Tanjong Datok, the southeast point of Johor through Horsburgh Reef to Pulo Koko, the northeastern extreme of Bintan Island, the northeastern coast of Sumatra, as far west as Tanjong Kedabu down the east coast of Sumatra to Lucy Para Point, thence to Tanjong Nangka, the southwest extremity of Bangka Island, through this island to Tanjong Berik at the eastern point, on to Tanjong Jamang in Bulletin, along the north coast of this island to Tanjong Boa Roeng Mandi, and thence a line to Tanjong Sambar, the southwest extreme of Borneo, on the east. From Tanjong Sambar through the west coast of Borneo to Tanjong Sampan Mangio, the north point, thence aligned to west points of Balabak and Sikam reefs, onto the west point of Ban Kalan Island and to Cape Bolleluyan, the southwest point of Palawan, through this island to Kabulai Point, the northern point thereof, thence to the northwest point of Bujuangar and to Cape Calavite in the island of Mundoro to the northwest point of Lubang Island and to Point Fuego in Luzon Island, through this island to Cape Ngano, the northeast point of Luzon, along a line joining this cape with the east point of Balintang Island and to the east point of Yami Island thence to Garanbai, the southern point of Taiwan, through this island to Santiago its northeastern point, on the north. From Fukikaku the north point of Formosa to Kalushan Tau on to the south point of Haitan Tau and thence westward on the parallel of 25 degrees 24 north to the coast of Fukian. On the west, the mainland, the southern limit of the Gulf of Thailand and the east coast of the Malay Peninsula. Geology the sea lies above a drowned continental shelf. During recent ice ages global sea level was hundreds of meters lower, and Borneo was part of the Asian mainland. The South China Sea opened after around 45 million years ago when dangerous ground were rifted away from southern China. Extension culminated in seafloor spreading around 30 million years ago, a process that propagated to the SW resulting in the V-shaped basin we see today. Extension ceased around 17 million years ago. Arguments have continued about the role of tectonic extrusion in forming the basin. Paul Taponia and colleagues have argued that as India collides with Asia it pushes Indochina to the Shea. The relative shear between Indochina and China caused the South China Sea to open. This view is disputed by geologists who do not consider Indochina to have moved far relative to mainland Asia. Marine geophysical studies in the Gulf of Tonkin by Peter Clift has shown that the Red River Fault was active and causing basin formation at least by 37 million years ago in the NW South China Sea. Consistent with extrusion playing a part in the formation of the sea, since opening the South China Sea has been the repository of large sediment volumes delivered by the Mekong River, Red River and Pearl River. Several of these deltas are rich in oil and gas deposits, islands and sea mounts. The South China Sea contains over 250 small islands, atolls, cays, shoals, reefs, and sandbars, most of which have no indigenous people, many of which are naturally underwater at high tide, and some of which are permanently submerged. The features are grouped into three archipelagos, Macclesfield Bank and Scarborough Shoal, the Spratly Islands, the Paracel Islands, the Pratis Islands, the Macclesfield Bank, the Scarborough Shoal, the Spratly Islands spread over an 810 by 900 kilometers area covering some 175 identified insular features, the largest being Taiping Island at just over 1.3 kilometers long and with its highest elevation at 3.8 meters. The largest singular feature in the area of the Spratly Islands is a 100 km wide sea mount called Reed Table Mount, also known as Reed Bank. In the northeast of the group, separated from Palawan Island of the Philippines by the Palawan Trench, now completely submerged, with a depth of 20 meters. 
It was an island until it sank about 7,000 years ago due to the increasing sea level after the last ice age, with an area of 8,866 square kilometers. It is one of the largest submerged atoll structures of the world. Territorial claims Several countries have made competing territorial claims over the South China Sea. Such disputes have been regarded as Asia's most potentially dangerous point of conflict. Both People's Republic of China and the Republic of China claim almost the entire body as their own, demarcating their claims within what is known as the Nine Dotted Line, which claims overlap with virtually every other country in the region. Competing claims include Indonesia, China, and Taiwan over waters near the Natuna Islands. The Philippines, China, and Taiwan over Scarborough Shoal, Vietnam, China, and Taiwan over waters west of the Spratly Islands. Some or all of the islands themselves are also disputed between Vietnam, China, Taiwan, Brunei, Malaysia, and the Philippines. The Paracel Islands are disputed between the PRC, ROC and Vietnam, Malaysia, Cambodia, Thailand and Vietnam over areas in the Gulf of Thailand, Singapore and Malaysia along the Strait of Johor and the Strait of Singapore. China and Vietnam have both been vigorous in prosecuting their claims. China and South Vietnam each controlled part of the Paracel Islands before 1974. A brief conflict in 1974 resulted in 18 soldiers being killed, and China has controlled the whole of Paracel since then. The Spratly Islands have been the site of a naval clash, in which over 70 Vietnamese sailors were killed just south of Chi Gua Reef in March 1988. Disputing claimants regularly report clashes between naval vessels. ASEAN in general, and Malaysia in particular, has been keen to ensure that the territorial disputes within the South China Sea do not escalate into armed conflict. As such, joint development authorities have been set up in areas of overlapping claims to jointly develop the area and dividing the profits equally without settling the issue of sovereignty over the area. This is true, particularly in the Gulf of Thailand. Generally, China has preferred to resolve competing claims bilaterally, while some ASEAN countries prefer multilateral talks, believing that they are disadvantaged in bilateral negotiations with the much larger China and that because many countries claim the same territory. Only multilateral talks could effectively resolve the competing claims. The overlapping claims over Pedra Branca or Pulau Bati Puti including neighboring middle rocks by both Singapore and Malaysia were settled in 2008 by the International Court of Justice, awarding Pedra Branca, Pulau Bati Puti to Singapore and middle rocks to Malaysia. In July 2010, U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton called for the People's Republic of China to resolve the territorial dispute. China responded by demanding the U.S. keep out of the issue. This came at a time when both countries have been engaging in naval exercises in a show of force to the opposing side which increased tensions in the region. The U.S. Department of Defense released a statement on August 18 where it opposed the use of force to resolve the dispute and accused China of assertive behavior. On July 22, 2011, one of India's amphibious assault vessels, the INS Air Evate, which was on a friendly visit to Vietnam, was reportedly contacted at a distance of 45 nautical miles from the Vietnamese coast in the disputed South China Sea on an open radio channel by a vessel identifying itself as the Chinese Navy and stating that the ship was entering Chinese waters. The spokesperson for the Indian Navy clarified that as no ship or aircraft was visible from INS Air of 8 it proceeded on her onward journey as scheduled. The Indian Navy further clarified that t here was no confrontation involving the INS Air of 8. India supports freedom of navigation in international waters, including in the South China Sea.
and the right of passage in accordance with accepted principles of international law. These principles should be respected by all. In September 2011, shortly after China and Vietnam had signed an agreement seeking to contain the dispute over the South China Sea, India's state-run explorer, Oil and Natural Gas Corporation said that its overseas investment arm ONGC Vidish Limited had signed a three-year deal with Petro Vietnam for developing long-term cooperation in the oil sector and that it had accepted Vietnam's offer of exploration in certain specified blocks in the South China Sea. In response, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Jiang Yu issued a protest. The spokesman of the Ministry of External Affairs of the Government of India responded by saying that the Chinese had concerns but we are going by what the Vietnamese authorities have told us and have conveyed this to the Chinese. The Indo-Vietnamese deal was also denounced by the Chinese state-run newspaper Global Times. In January 2013, the Philippines government said it will take China to a UN tribunal under the auspices of the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea to challenge its claims in the South China Sea. In May 2014, China established an oil rig near the Paracel Islands, leading to multiple incidents between Vietnamese and Chinese ships. Various factions of the Muslim Moro people are waging a war for independence against the Philippines. The website of the separatist Moro National Liberation Front of NURMASURE declared its support for China against the Philippines in the South China Sea dispute, calling both China and the Moro people as victims of Philippine colonialism, and noting China's history of friendly relations with the Moros. The MNLF website also denounced America's assistance to the Philippines in their colonization of the Moro people in addition to denouncing the Philippines' claims to the islands disputed with China, and denouncing America for siding with the Philippines in the dispute, noting that in 1988, China punished Vietnam for attempting to set up a military presence on the disputed islands and noting that the Moros and China maintained peaceful relations, while on the other hand the Maros had to resist other colonial powers, having to fight the Spanish, fight the Americans, and fight the Japanese, in addition to fighting the Philippines.